our brothers and sisters in the media. When this started to happen, I love Cuomo, dude. came out and they busted and did that bums rush into the Capitol. Were you surprised? No, not at all. I have to be very, I have to be very careful at what I say tonight because I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked, but I am angry about what happened um, today. And, and and all Americans should be angry about what happened today. And all Americans should be angry about the whataboutism. And all Americans should be angry about the difference, the differences in the way. Black Lives Matter protesters were treated, gassed in the Capitol because the president wanted to carry a Bible and do a public event for a show to make a video. And then today you have people who popped up on lies and propaganda, took over the nation's Capitol, not stopped by police. Everyone is saying, what was the failure in police? Why, what happened? There was no failure. If you look at the video, those people are being ushered in by some of the people who are so supposed to So you don't think it was police. simply about not being prepared? No, I don't think it was about not. How can you not be prepared when you are in control Come on, bro. of protecting? He's black. He knows what's going on. What do you mean, dude? Like, of course. What, what do you mean? <laughs> dude, did we not go through fucking literally BLM protests this entire summer? We know what it looks like when they're fucking prepared, dude. Go in. One has to think that these people are somehow <laughs> believing what these folks are saying or are at least some way have been co-opted by them or are a part of it. Because these folks are going and saying, this is our capital. We, this belongs to us. They work for us. Therefore, they feel entitled to be able to subvert justice, to go into the nation's capital, to stand at podiums and lectures. Sorry, I forgot. Cuomo was also a person of color. Officials, president, Italian rights, baby. Of the Italian States. rights, baby. We are supposed to respect the country. We're supposed to respect the capital. And by the way, you and I were talking about the fringe right media, and I state-run media over at Fox News. I consider Priya, them this because is they a, have been on the fringe. This is a Norman audience that we have today. But talking about today, I'm doing all oh my, my regular gosh, I can't memes. Believe how beautiful the cap. This became about. The, the capital, physically, the beauty of the capital being somehow desecrated. What about the democracy? What about the republic? And stop comparing it to Black Lives Matter protesters. Because Black Lives Matter protesters were there for real, a real issue. True. Police brutality. Criminal justice reform. The way people of color True. are treated in this country. People of color who, would, who did what those people did today at the Capitol, it would not have been, come on in, let's take a selfie, let me help you escort right. you down the stairs. That would have been tear gas, get on the ground, knees on the neck. That's what the Black Lives Matter protesters were, were about. Yes, there were rioters who were out of control with Black Lives Matter. The same thing happened with today. So today, the folks who are at state-run media and, and who are saying, well, not all the people were, were out there uh, for doing bad things. The majority of those people were protesters and they were peaceful. That is the same argument that Black Lives Matter had been making about people. Not all of them however, were Antifa. However, however. Uh, and look, why is this important? Two reasons. What? One, uh, because this was supposed to be um, a seminal moment today. This moment was so ugly, so obvious, that it should have been an end for us. It should Bro, have you been, know it's fucking weird when he turns to the camera was, instead of facing Don Lamont. Just another step in a process. And you know what I mean? We have to talk about. Is today going to be an end or is it going to be a beginning of an ugly period? Now, He's so handsome, sure, though. It delayed our democracy at a minimum, and that's why they went there. And that is a fundamental difference, all right? Any violence no, is not protest. No, I'm joking. I know his last name is Lemon. We say this all the time. Okay. The reason we have to keep saying it is because there are people in this society who want to weaponize differences. And they immediately came out today and mitigated the significance of what happened today. Oh, well, you were okay with it when it was BLM. Nobody was okay with it. I hung it. out with Don but Lemon once. suggest that showed that we were not passed. At the White House Correspondents Dinner Playboy but it Party. Delay because what we're doing right now, the reason we have a chance nice to guy. recap here, Mm -hmm. And for Don to give his thoughts is because right now they've been delayed again. This is supposed to be the day where Congress certifies the electoral votes from all the different states. OK, it is not a forum for adjudication of claims. It's not a court. It's not a commission. It is not a fact finding body. But that's what's happening. It, no, is about so certification. Dumb. it is being bastardized for oh, that. Use why are you by that? Dude? And <laughs> in the form 
of legal geniuses. This Senator Hall and Senator the dumbest Cruz, audience, they were I swear to God. Clubs. They know what they're talking about. Right now, they're in chamber well, no, no, getting ready to debate. They don't know what they're talking about now. They don't. They're, they, well, but hold on. I just want to give them the sense of where we are in okay. the process. Yeah, that's what, that's they're going to be in chamber, and they're going to be debating up to two hours. The only other objection that we expect, there were going to be a number, as many as six, after the insurrection today, some senators got cold feet and said, you know what, maybe this is a bad move, fomenting fraud uh, that is a farce. But Hawley did not. Cruz did not. So now Pennsylvania is up for debate up to two hours. When they start debating it, the House and the Senate went to separate chambers to do their debate. We'll bring you the debates from the floor. Yeah, Please. It, yeah it, may be, it may be two hours. And Josh Hawley is saying he's, up to two he hours. is going to cede his time. So he's not going to speak and he's going to allow it. So it could be short. It's going to allow many senators to leave the Capitol while the House debates, possibly for two hours. And then, the, and then they're going to vote on this Pennsylvania objection. But again, this is where we are now. We're watching. We would, we would not have, if what happened today not happened, we wouldn't be sitting here at uh, 1225 in, in the morning, uh, probably. Who was? With the, with the vote. We would not be sitting here saying, well, Pennsylvania is being debated right now. That would have happened earlier. Yes. They lost time. Would have been over. Because of this. It, this would have been over. Yeah. All of this is, is pro forma, what's happening right now. All of this is theater with, with, with what's happening right now. True. And the reason, it, you know, everyone says, K -k get back to I mean, it. We would be. The moment, the reason that we're here in this moment is because, the, because of people be, like Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley, who have been lying to the American people. And now trying to compare apples and oranges when it comes to protesters versus rioters in this country. That's the moment that we're in right now. It's all the same moment. We're all in the same moment. This is what happens when you ig ignore the, the will of the people. Whether you're a Republican and you believe that this was falsely believed that this election was stolen. Or whether you are a Democrat or someone who, is, who believes in criminal justice and you believe that people of color should be treated equally. This is where we are in this country right now. And it has all culminated in a moment that has, that has come together and now people are trying to say, people are, are wanting to take away a free and fair election, the right of the people. That's what this they were all, there to do it's today. All, it's it all wasn't just outrage. Thing it because, wasn't an overflowed protest. On, they just, they give, had a point. Just give, me, just give me some leeway here. Because of a president. Shut up, Chris. Who uses people's, who uses fear. I know you think you're POC. As weapons. Who pits people against each other. And the people who are in Congress, like Hawley and Cruz, are using <laughs> it this moment right now to prop themselves up for political gain. That's why we're in this moment right now. So it all he comes together. Him. It's not just what's happening on the Senate floor. It's not just what's happening in Congress. It's what's happening in everyday people's lives in this country. That's where we are. Flashback. Absolutely. And, and many people, even in the media, you know, good, good journalists were saying, this is surreal. This is unimaginable. It's not. We can't. This is reality. This is where we are in this country. I'm not saying everybody's this way, but this is the mood. This is our political culture. This is where we are. And by the way, there was bloodshed today. Mm -hmm. All right. Four people died. Uh, most notably, you're going to hear about a woman who was shot and killed during the insurrection when she had broken into the Capitol with others. It happened as they were literally rioting and trying to break down a door. There is dramatic video to show you of the moments leading up to that deadly confrontation. Why show no. that? Why not show it? None of us should take any, just an ounce or a scintilla of any type of satisfaction in hearing that somebody got hurt, even though they were doing something wrong. Our democracy should have never come to this. And you need to own. You know, some of these games are fucking crazy. Right. You really got fucking so hospital gamers in the chat saying you could be playing Russ right now today of all days. I mean, they're right. You know, distressing for you. Oh, is this the fucking crazy uh, angle? Oh, no, we're going to hold on it. Senator McConnell is saying something. Oh. Listen. On Res 1 and Section 17 of Title 3, the United States Code, when the two houses withdraw from the joint session to count the electoral vote for separate consideration of an objection, a senator may speak to the objection for five minutes, not more than once. Debate shall not exceed two hours, after which the chair will put the question, shall the objection be sustained? The clerk will report the objection made in the joint session. Objection from Senator Hawley from Missouri and Representative Perry from Pennsylvania. 
We, a United States Senator and member of the House of Representatives, object to the counting of the electoral votes on the state of Pennsylvania on the ground that they were not, under all of the known circumstances, regularly given. <laughs> Dude, don't old people die if they stay up past a certain point? They're really risking their lives out Enjoy here, dude. Later. Josh Hawley is just trying to eliminate some of his fucking colleagues up in here. If there's no further debate. That was it? <laughs> if there's no further debate, the question shall be. Shall the objection submitted by the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Perry, cool. the senator from Missouri, Mr. Hawley, be sustained? Is there a sufficient second? There is. There is. The, clerk the clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin. No. Ms. Baldwin, no. Mr. Barrasso. Mr. Barrasso, no. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, no. Mrs. Blackburn. Mrs. Blackburn, no. Mr. Blumenthal. Mr. Blunt. Mr. Blunt, no. Mr. Booker. No. Mr. Booker, no. Okay, dude, this is so stupid. No. Mr. Braun. Mr. Braun, no. Mr. Brown. This is literally like Brown, when I did my ride along no. for my politics and criminal justice Mr. class Burr, and found no. out that like a big chunk of police work revolves around writing paperwork no. after you're done harassing no. random individuals on the streets. No. Like, this is literally when you find out how the sausage is made, and it's no. so boring. And that's why they're, like, literally 87 years old. No. Mr. Casey. Mr. Casey. Like, no. most of... Mr. Cassidy. Most of this shit is just, like, Mr. pure procedure, insanely boring. No. Mr. Coons. And, and impossible Coons. to fucking keep up with. No. Unless you are literally 90 years old and basically Corning. decaying. No. Ms. On Cortez that seat, Masto. and you got nothing else uh, going on. No, Mr. Cotton.